Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, as you can see, once again, we've had some heavy rains here. I was uh, sleeping, I did know it was raining, but I slept through this, uh, so I don't know how long it rained or how heavily. If it's draining water out of the ponds, it was a pretty good rain. So, look, I'm feeling a little bit better today. Uh, my fever's gone. Uh, it broke about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. And I'm not feeling great, but I'm not feeling horrible either. So, I have left instructions with Ippy that if I'm not up and around by uh, 7 o'clock in the morning to wake me up, so that I can lead the charge here in uh, at least finishing this half of the field up tomorrow. What I want to do is take up these surviving peppers, and there are a lot of them out there. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, the, the grass is coming back, so it's hard to tell. There's a lot of them. And what I want to do is transfer them tomorrow. Uh, finish up these rows uh, and transfer everything out of this. Everything, all, it's really only the pepper plants that are worth moving. You know, the tomato plants I'm just going to pull up and set aside. And um, these tomato plants that are already here, I'm just going to pull them out, the, the larger ones. Uh, the small ones have been uh, we've replanted a bunch of these small ones. Uh, I guess there really is no room to put these pepper plants, so we're going to have to put the, put, get these other uh, rows in. So what is this? That's going to be one, two, three, maybe four rows we can put in here again. And that will definitely be enough to uh, definitely be enough rows for the peppers. We get all these surviving peppers here moved, and uh, perhaps I don't know. We do have more uh, tomatoes up top to transfer. We have more peppers available to transfer. One or the other, uh, we're going to replant in here, but we're going to leave. We're going to leave this last row open. So we'll remove all those pepper plants out of there, and then we're just going to start bringing in dirt. Now on this side, I had made these little canals next to the rows. Uh, we're not going to do that on this other side. We're just going to add soil. Uh, and in fact, in hindsight, probably I might even fill backfill these lower rows, the, the, the canals. I might even backfill those a couple inches. Uh, yeah, counterproductive, but I really don't want the standing water in there. Uh, not too deep anyway. They'll probably eventually fill in over time, but I don't know. Um, I'll just cross that bridge when I'm coming to it. But it's only going to be fill dirt only that's going to be put in there. And it'll, it'll be, it'll go much faster than this went here uh, because there won't be any furrow digging. So hopefully tomorrow, I mean, I, who knows how, how much energy I'm going to have to get this done. But uh, Ippy and uh, well, at least her son is going to help me with this, and depending on how I feel or not, and how if I if I can actually if I'm actually worth anything tomorrow, uh, her son and I will get this finished up. But if I'm just not, 
Uh, I can tell you this, if I'm not feeling any better tomorrow than I am today, then Consi and Ippy both are going to be helping here. Uh, I want, this has to get done. And uh, next week, that has to get done, that side of the field. And the sooner the better, because we have, we have plants that need to be planted. And the clock is ticking. Look up here and see how much water, if any, is going down this main canal. Do a little inspection here. If I can get up the side of this bank. <coughs> yeah, this is all looking fine. There is water going down it. Not that much, but some. So this was a pretty good rain, but it wasn't a, a super heavy rain. The corn and the okra are doing really good. I don't know if those peppers are going to recover because I know they were over fertilized. They shouldn't have been fertilized at all so soon from being transplanted, but they were, and I think it killed them. Well, maybe not. I can still see them out there. At least this heavy rain. Well, as you guys just heard, uh, that board broke and I was crossing it, the little bridge there. And I went, <laughs> I went down, at least I landed on my feet. Uh, as far as I can tell, nothing's broken, but my chest did hit this this side of the bank. And it knocked the wind out of me. I thought I'd broken a rib there for a minute. It was a pretty intense pain. I just didn't have the... <laughs> I didn't have... Usually when I cross that little bridge there, I kind of do a little... A little quick move so that my weight is not on that very long but I just didn't have the energy to kind of hop across like I usually do and too much weight on it for too long and it broke oh goody anyway <laughs> oh, if it ain't one thing it's another that's the last thing I need to do is break a rib or break one of my legs and that's about a five foot drop so could have done either one
as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I think those peppers are starting to, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get down in there and do a real inspection. It looks like we've lost some. Maybe that's only on this end though. Uh, yeah. Regardless. Uh, this new field, pond, old pond, new field, uh, everything's doing good in it. The beans are up to the first string. The cucumbers and the amplia seem to be doing well. The corn is doing okay. So all in all, it's a win here. Ah, oh, I've had enough. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.